Hey guys, it's Christy again, and today I wanted to film for you my May favorites video. And I've got a lot of makeup favorites this month, so I'm just gonna get started. My first and very most favorite product of the entire month is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. If you were wondering, is it really that good? Like, is it really that good? No, it really is. You forget that it's made with chocolate, so every time you open it, and every time you swirl your brush around in it, it's literally painting your face with chocolate. And you may not think that that's a desirable thing to paint your face with chocolate, but it is so, it's something you didn't know you needed in your life. Like, you have no idea. The beauty of these shades and the way that they smell is, it's probably 90% of why I love it. The shades are also beautiful. They're very pigmented. They're very, um, easy to wear colors, so it's definitely worth it. If you were planning on picking up a palette and you wanted something that was pretty neutral but also had some cool shades in it, like um, these pink shades and a little more maroon and there's a purple in there as well, um, then definitely go pick up the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I had it sent to me, I can't even tell you. I had it sent to me for free, um, not so that I could review it, but just like as a gift, and what a gift, <laughs> what a gift to get. So it's amazing, you guys should definitely check it out if nothing else, like just go to Sephora, swirl a little brush around in it and smell it or like apply it to, like sometimes I'll be like turning my head and I'll be like, oh, chocolate, like it really does, it smells so good, like vanilla-y cocoa, bomb. Next product is also from Too Faced. I made an entire video mentioning this and it's a full review, I show a demo of me using it. I'll post a link to that video in the description of this video. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, Holy Grail. It's my new Holy Grail mascara, you guys don't even know. It is too good for words apparently, I don't know. But it's seriously so amazing, you guys need to check it out. If you have not tried this mascara, it is false eyelashes in a tube that applies in like two swipes. I mean seriously, and the packaging is beautiful. It's $23, I know that's fairly expensive for some people, but if you're ever gonna buy a mascara, I'm not kidding, go buy this mascara, you will not regret it. And if you wanna see a demo of me using it, it's in the description of this video. My next favorite product, I also just mentioned in the last video, and I haven't had this for that long, but it is seriously such a favorite. I know I'm never not gonna like this. It's the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Everyone mentions this on YouTube, and they're all like, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and like you really are like, Really, is it that good? Really, is it that good? It's hard to see in a swatch of my finger because it's so skin-like. It really is that good, you guys. It is so beautiful. I have this on today with a little bit of some other stuff on as well, but it is such a gorgeous blush. It is the perfect blush, in my opinion. Like, you wouldn't think it would do that much, but it just gives you the most beautiful, peachy, bronzy glow, and you can see it does have a glow to it. It's luminous. Hence Luminoso. Seriously beautiful, pick it up. Another favorite of mine this month, which you haven't seen in a lot of videos, but I do wear it to work a lot, is this lip combo. It's a very pink, Barbie pink lip combo, which is not quite what I usually wear, but I actually really, really, really like it. And it is the a mixture of Model Co pinking of you. It's a cool, I really like the packaging actually. It's a white tube, but it's got a little mirror on the side so you could apply your lipstick if you were out on the go. And um, that's the color right there. And that's the swatch color on the back of my hand. It is so beautiful and you can see it on my lips right now, obviously. And then I layer a little bit of the Revlon Lip Butter in, it's like the Raspberry Tart or something like that. I, I don't have, like my sticker's gone. So I can't tell which color this is. I think it's like raspberry tart or something, but I will put it in the description of this video. But I put a little bit of this in the center and it just gives this very Barbie but wearable look. I wear this to work a lot, so I can't have it be too Barbie, otherwise I look kind of like a hooker at work. Well, my next favorite product, which it's still very new to me, but I do like it at this point. I'm very critical of foundations because I have a weird skin type to wear foundations slide off my skin to like where if I look like around two o'clock in the afternoon if I look in the mirror my foundation especially around my nose looks like it's lifted off of my skin and slid like a half an inch it looks awful and this does happen with this as well but it happens with every single foundation 
And it was happening because I was using the Benefit Professional every day and I don't know if that's what was causing the problem, but I, today I didn't use the Benefit Professional. I just used the Tarte with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and um, my concealer. And so we're gonna see what it does. But um, so far I do like it. It's a very full coverage foundation. That's probably why it's called Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I like the packaging. I like that it's cruelty free. And that is one big thing that I am seriously, I can't believe I wasn't paying enough attention to is that products are cruelty free. And a lot of the products that I use are not. Um, and I wasn't even paying attention to that because I don't know why. I was just stupid, I guess. But um, I love animals and I don't want them to be hurt because I want to make a product. So uh, I'm really looking into making sure that I only buy products now that are actually cruelty free. And Tarte is one of those brands. So I love this foundation. I way prefer it to the Kabuki dry, like you know what I'm talking about? The mineral one? I way prefer it to that. I also so far really like the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It is really nice. It is not chalky. It is a very full coverage powder actually. Like you can't tell. Why would I swatch a color? It's like my skin on the back of my hand. But it's very pretty. It's very nice. It was very Actually, I don't think it was inexpensive. Like I could be like, this was really cheap because it was like $22. So that's actually really expensive. Obviously my favorite concealer cause it's gone. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. Best concealer of my life. I love it so much. It like makes all the dark circles go away. It covers up all my imperfections. Like I am broken out right now. I've got like zits here, 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 here. And you can't really tell because of this and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I mean like seriously, full coverage, bomb. That foundation. Another favorite of mine, these are the samples that I got and these are probably gonna last me for like another year. I got these from Nordstrom. These are the samples of the Anastasia, Anastasia, son of a cunt. These are the samples of the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is the chocolate color and this is the blonde color. And I do a mixture of them on my eyebrows. I do the chocolate on the outside and the blonde on the inside. And I've mentioned this in a few videos before, but I love these. And these are probably my holy grail brow product. I also really love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, but right now I'm just using these and I really, really like them. And I will buy the full size products as soon as I go get run out of them. The next love of mine is a, kind of weird, but it is this brush from Coastal Sense. And it's synthetic fiber. And you can tell it's got like these little shorter white hairs on the top. They're not white right now. They're the color of my blush, but it just blends my blush out so seamlessly. Like it's just such a good brush. I don't even know the name of it. I don't know if you can buy it separately, but I got it in the full brush set from Coastal Scents. I got it like a year and a half ago. Um, and I really do like this a lot. If you were planning on getting brushes, I don't know if the Coastal Scents, it would be a great beginner set because it's fairly inexpensive and you get a lot of different brushes, but I feel like it's missing a lot of what you need to do your makeup really well, but it does have a couple of decent brushes in there and this is one of them. The next favorite of mine that even though I have not had it for that long, it is such a love because it is such a good product and I think you guys will really like it as well. It is the Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I got the color black. The pen gives such a precision line and you can do so much with it. It's, it's so hard to see right here, but it is so good. You guys have, it's such a fine tip of black. It's not a felt tip. It's actually an eyeliner tip, like the brush tip, but it's so fine and it comes to such a fine point that it gives you such precision lines. It's seriously beautiful. It's really, really good for doing a winged eyeliner. So if you struggle at all with winged eyeliner, this is a really, really good find. I got this at Sephora. Um, I don't remember how much it costs. I have no idea, but it's definitely worth checking out if you want a really good black liner. I did a winged liner today and it takes like five seconds to do it because it's so easy. I also really like, this is the Prestige Total Intensity Against All Oz Liquid Ink Liner. And this is the cobalt color. I think it, it's called All Nighter. And it is such a beautiful blue color but you see the color of that liner? It's just a really seriously beautiful cobalt blue. And I wore this the other day with a hint of yellow. 
um, highlighting my eyes and I got a few compliments on it. So uh, I really like that. It just kind of stands alone from your typical black eyeliner. And it also has one seriously good uh, quality to it that once it is on, you can't budge it off. Same with the blink liner, look at this. That's that liquid eyeliner. You're not, you can't budge it, you can't change it. It's seriously like smudge proof. Once it's on, it's on and you're not gonna get it off. Same with the Prestige one. It's not completely dry yet so I can't show you. Oh, actually I can, look. Once it's on, you're not budging it. It's there to stay. It's like an ink and it dries and it's there. And then, but it does come off with, uh, with uh, makeup remover or makeup remover wipes, it totally does. This next product is a little bit messy because I left it in my car and I left it on its side and it like fell to the side, like it melted in the heat and then like reformed itself. This is the, this is the Vaseline Rosy Lips. I've mentioned this before as well, but it is probably, I think it's just Vaseline, which I mean, I actually like the feeling of Vaseline on my lips, but it has a tint of pink to it, which is so subtle. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's so subtle, but it does show up. And this to me, cause it's infused with rose and almond oil. And to me, this really, makes my lips feel moisturized. I put this on before bed a lot of nights and it's really nice. I really, really like this. So I would definitely pick this up if you really just want like a good smelling, it smells like rose and almond, like it literally is those two scents and it smells really good and I really like the way it moisturizes. So I would definitely pick that up if you guys were looking for something like that. This is a lip gloss that stands alone in my opinion. I don't know if it's still made. I really, really hope it is because if I run out of this, I'm gonna cry. It is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Shine City. That's the color 010 Shine City. It looks like just like a clear or light pink lip gloss, but it isn't. It's got the most beautiful shine to it. Like I can't quite explain how glossy it is and how much of a beautiful shine it gives to the lips. I used this on my dad's wife. Um, she's in my new stepmother. I love her so much. My dad got married this last month, so that's a favorite of mine as well. But I used this on her on top of a couple of different lip products for her wedding. And it's such a beautiful, super lustrous. It's got the most beautiful silvery pink flecks of glitter in there. It's seriously so beautiful. So if they sell this, you guys should pick it up because it's such a gorgeous gloss. And when you put it over top of any lip, it like boom, like makes them stand out like nobody's business. The next thing I'm mentioning, I haven't mentioned for a long while, but I've used, been using it a lot this month, don't know if you can tell, is the Dr. George's Dental White. This is a professional strength teeth whitening gel kit. I don't know, I bought it offline. I got the Jaclyn Hill version of it. I saw it like a long time ago. She mentioned this in one of her videos that this is what she uses. She was probably paid to say that. I can only imagine, but, because I can't imagine that Jaclyn Hill's teeth are literally pearl white because of Dr. George's Dental White, but it does seriously work. I would definitely get this if you're looking for an inexpensive option. This is better than the Crest White Strips and better than all that shit that you buy at the store. It's not much more expensive. Maybe it's like 20 bucks or something or maybe 30. I don't even know, but it's really not that expensive. And I've had this for the last year and I seriously have maybe only used half of it. It's a really, really, really good. It tastes like holy ball sack. I mean, it is gag in your mouth gross because it's like that that peroxide taste it really whitens your teeth I leave mine I, it gives you it comes with like these little trays you heat them up and form them to your mouth and then you put the gel on the inside and put them up in your mouth I leave mine in for like an hour you should probably only leave them on for like 20 minutes probably you should probably only leave it on for like 20 minutes but I leave mine on for like an hour but it really does work can you see my teeth are like little corns before and now they're much wider corn the last beauty product that I'm going to mention is my favorite fragrance. Now, I mentioned that I got the Chloe Rollerball at Sephora and I wasn't that big of a fan of it. I'm still wearing it because I'm trying to get used to it, um, but I'm layering it and I'm layering it with my all-time favorite, which is the Britney Spears Curious Perfume. This is my holy grail perfume. This is my scent. Like when you find your signature scent, this is mine. This mixes so well with every other perfume that I've used. The smell of it, 
is is just so beautiful. It's fresh, it's young, but it's also sophisticated and very a beautiful, beautiful scent. Like seriously, you guys would super love it. Um, if you haven't smelled it, I would definitely go pick it up. It's really inexpensive. I mean, for a perfume, I mean, it's Britney Spears. It doesn't last that long, and that's my one. That's my one like downside with it, but this is my favorite perfume that I've ever used. And it makes me be able to tolerate the Chloe perfume. They mix really well together actually, and it gives a really sophisticated scent. This mixes so beautifully with Victoria's Secret Love Spell. It is such a gorgeous fragrance, and when it's mixed with that, or mixed with anything else, or just stand alone, it's perfect. And so this is my favorite fragrance, and I've been wearing it a lot this month. My favorite TV show this month has ha got to be Game of Thrones. If you guys don't watch the show, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, so you don't have to like click away or anything like that, because I make sure that I will never spoil anything for anybody. Fuck, this show is bomb. I'm, I'm reading the book right now too, and um, I just started it, so I haven't gotten that far with it. And if you watch the show, well, I'm actually caught up, so you can't spoil it for me. But don't spoil anything, like I seriously, don't tell me what happens in the books. Don't tell me. Please don't spoil it for me. I hate that shit when people spoil stuff for me. But it is such a good show. Game of Thrones is a badass show and I seriously love it so much. My favorite YouTuber this month has got to be, hands down, take a wild guess, Battle Lash. If you guys don't watch Samantha or Sam or Angela from Battle Lash, your life isn't complete. Your life literally isn't complete. She is fucking perfection. Like you can, you will look at somebody and be like, oh yeah, they're really pretty. No. <laughs> Sam from Battle Lash Beauty is literally, she stands alone in the beauty department. Her makeup skills are next level. Her makeup on her face is a perfect face. Like you guys don't understand it. She looks like Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Fucking Khaleesi. So beautiful, you guys don't understand. And she is so beautiful. Her makeup tutorials are flawless. She went to a school called John Casablanca's Institute and I'm actually thinking about going to the school. It's in Vancouver, BC, so that's quite a drive for me. But if I can be one tenth of as skilled as she is at makeup, my life will be set. So. Seriously, she's so wonderful. Check her channel out. It is youtube.com slash battle lash beauty. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So flawless, you guys will love her. She's a she's really uncensored like me, like she just doesn't give a fuck about anything and it's so refreshing to watch somebody else who does that because I cuss in my videos and I don't give a shit about anything in my videos, but to see somebody else do it and to see that they're not only amazing but super talented and so beautiful, like next level beautiful. Oh my God. I, I literally have a girl crush on her and I wanna be her best friend. And so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna just, I digress. I'm gonna be over it right now, but go check out her channel. I love her so much, I can't even tell you. That is it you guys. I hope you guys like my May favorites video. I feel like I've been talking for like the last 30 minutes. So this is probably gonna be a long one, but I hope you guys like this video, and uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, nah, you know the whole story. Links are in the description of this video. And if you would like to see more videos from me every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I upload. The description has a subscribe button, or you can click to the end, and there is a subscribe button as well. And it will subscribe you to my channel, and it will update you every time I put out a new video. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.